So here's an example of what one of these things looks like. It's going to be a, um, it's a graph or it's just a setup, uh, like a rectangle like this, and it's going to have some points on it. And then a bunch of these lines that are through here. So I'm going to highlight and then erase some things. Each one of these lines is a perpendicular bisector between two of the points on the graph. All right, so each one of these things is right here. So each pair of points has a perpendicular bisector that's associated with it. Um, and that's how everything's split up. So let me erase all that. And let me just do some quick kind of explanation here. So point D and point E has that perpendicular bisector right there. Uh, point A and point E has that perpendicular bisector right there. Okay, and then every other pair has a perpendicular bisector on there. Um, so it says these are where hospitals are located. And this is where you can kind of divide up like a coverage area for a hospital, uh, maybe ambulances. All right, say if it's in this purple, this purple area up here, then the ambulance from E, hospital E, is going to be the one that covers that. Um, dispatchers would use it when they were sending things out. So that's the first aspect of these, which is what the, they tend to focus on. So it says, which hospital would be closest to a house closest to a house located at point D? That's not supposed to say B. It's supposed to say point X. All right, at point X. All right, so then what happens is when you look at one of these things, if a point is in a specific colored area, then the point in that area is the one it's closest to. All right, so point X is closest to point D, the hospital at point D. Okay, even though it looks like maybe A is closer because of how perpendicular bisectors work, you can immediately tell which thing they're closer to when you're looking at it. The second thing says, which hospital would be closest to a house located at point P? All right, so again, here's point P. It's located in this blue section. I think that one's obviously closer to point A. All right, so I don't think that one would be a, a real hard thing to understand, even if you weren't sure what was going on here. The last one says, which hospital will be closest to a house located at point S? Now I drew point S, just because I added these to the diagram. And so that's kind of right on the border. All right, so that means it's gonna be really close in distance to both of these, but because it's on the upper right hand side of that line that means anything in here is closest to that one right there so that's closest to b so when i look through the ib exam problems that seemed to be one of the more common questions was asking um which is closer to where all right and so you've just got to make sure that you really really read what's going on there so that you can understand exactly what is being talked about in the problem itself what the points represent um and then what they're asking in the question.